Jordan was irrepressible. He was high energy. Well, he was a great kid. He was full of life. He was a, a real handful. He walked on his eight-month birthday, and he never stopped. He was born with a, an adventurous spirit. Big baseball player, um, skateboarding. He, uh, he was really active, kind of a typical kid. For the last five years of his life, I worried every single moment of every single day. Somehow, I just knew my goal was to keep him alive. Jordan was in his early 20s. He was working construction. He hurt his back lifting some wood. The doctor prescribed him an opiate. That opiate became his focus in life. Once a person is addicted to a drug, it is the main thing on that person's mind. Finding it, paying for it, taking it, and then finding some more. It consumes your life. It was so gradual, but yet it was just getting crazier and crazier, just his lifestyle. And he would he'd do a job. He was, he was working as a chimney sweep, and he'd, he'd, uh, he'd get a check for like 6,000 bucks. Gone. He was not trustworthy. He was unable to focus. Jordan was so addicted that he wasn't getting enough from the doctor, so he was seeking it elsewhere, and he was seeking it on the street. He had stomach problems. He had sleeplessness. It was very hard on his body. He came to us and said, I need to detox. I need help here. I can't handle this. I can't manage it anymore. We got him into a detox program. He was good for, for a little while after that, and then the call of the drug, he couldn't resist it. He got back into it. In the end, what happened was Jordan took several drugs three of which were prescribed to him, and the combination killed him. Jordan was probably responsible for the best day of my life, you know, the day he was born and the, and the day he died, the worst day. Of course, when he died, our lives were just shattered. I'm still trying to figure out how to live my life not being a mom. When I had a son, a tremendous amount of energy was put into his life, and now it just disappeared in an instant. We won't have grandchildren, and we won't have him around in our old age. We are really ignorant of just how, how devastating these drugs can be and how addictive they are, especially the opiate-based drugs. I don't think kids in particular understand what they're getting into. They need to know that this can ruin their lives and, in fact, can kill them. Parents need to be vigilant and not rationalize behavior changes. They need to be compassionate. If one is angry and judgmental, nothing will push the kid away faster. Don't ignore the situation. Don't. Don't pretend like it's going to go away. It can happen to anyone. Sharing his story helps me heal. If it saves one kid, it's worth it. He was a normal, everyday, healthy young man. He was working. He was vibrant. He was a loving person. Every day I think about him. You know, just remember him, focus on the good things, the good memories. He was just starting his life. Had he been able to get off of the drugs, he would have been fine. He would have been a successful, amazing guy. Get the facts and talk with your kids about prescription drug abuse. Visit canada.ca slash drug prevention. A message from the Government of Canada. <laughs> 